Next we are going to look at treatment in a supine position with a patient lying on the back and then the therapist. I've got a saddle seat but you can sit in any chair but it puts my posture into a better position. The trapezius and levator we can actually treat from this side. We can also do rotation as well which would include the sternomastoid and the scalenes. Now what we're going to do is slowly take the patient into a side bending position so they are comfortable. The face all ideally is under, so it gives you more access around this sort of area of treatment. So from this position, take your hand over. If you've been massaging with oils and creams, then try not to contact the face. Place your finger either side of your ear and place your hand on top of the shoulder. We have three choices. Choice one is the patient elevates the shoulder. Choice two, they can side bend. Or choice three, they can bring the right ear to the right shoulder and the right shoulder to the right ear, so they can do both at the same time. So if you watch the first technique, take a small breath in please. And then on the out breath, slowly push up on your right shoulder. So they elevate in the right upper trapezius. It will get the levator as well from this position. After 10 seconds, I will do it slightly for less time. Relax please, take a small breath in. And on the out breath, I can slowly use the shoulder and depress. So that could be choice one. Choice two could be that, breathe in please, slowly side bend the neck to the shoulder, so she's activating it. Some patients have pain in this movement, that's why we might use the shoulder. After 10 seconds, relax. Breathe in, and on the out breath, stabilize the shoulder, and then slowly side bend the neck. It is natural to me to apply a little bit of depression to the shoulder, just to stabilize it. And choice three, breathe in please. Right, right ear to shoulder and shoulder to ear. So she's activating both components, 20%, not 80. So many patients try to, to force the movement. Remember why they come to see you is because they're probably in pain. After 10 seconds, relax, breathe in. And on the out breath, I can slowly depress the shoulder and side bend. If you watch this next technique, if you ask the patient to slowly push up on the right shoulder, so she's activating the upper trapezius. After 10 seconds, if you ask the patient to take a breath in, and the right hand slowly reaches down towards the knee, then she is activating the lower trapezius muscle and the process now tells the upper trapezius to relax through reciprocal inhibition. So this would be the second method of MET and relax there. So that would be an RI technique. To do the levator, what we're going to do is we need to rotate and then slowly bring the chin to the chest. And what I'm going to ask my patient to do initially is to, from this position, I can come under and just slowly ask them to push the head back to the right. So she is pushing the head and back to the right, so activating the levator scapulae. After 10 seconds, relax please. So we've now got a window of opportunity where we can encourage lengthening. So there's no rush, we have 25 seconds to do this. The way I do this, I would normally cradle under the occiput, hand on the top of the shoulder, and I can, if I needed to, slowly use my abdomen and just take my patient while standing into the flex position here. If you find it's uncomfortable to place your abdomen on your area, then just use your hand. Remember the weight of the head is around 12 pounds, so it's quite heavy. That's why sometimes I like to rest it here. To get the patient to slowly push the head back, please. So she's pushing back. Remember most muscle energy techniques are performed three times. Relax, please. Take a breath. And as I breathe out, if this is the third and final time, I would hold this new position for at least 25 seconds for the body to remember the position. After 25 seconds, I'm going to slowly bring my head back down, her head I meant, and then she can just relax for a second. Last one is rotation, so we are going to rotate. You can see that this SCM here is pretty active, even though I'm doing the movement passively here. I'm going to get my patient, take a breath in please, and slowly turn your neck to your right just by rotating into my finger. It's actually contracting the left SCM is what we are doing, not the right side. And after 10 seconds, take a breath in. And as I breathe out, my fingers are either side of the ear, I'm gonna slowly rotate my patient until we feel a bind. Hold them for a few seconds. There's no set time to hold. Take a small breath in, please. Look at my finger, I just tap, so they rotate into my finger. 
for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, relax please, breathe in. And as I breathe out, I'm going to rotate into further left rotation. If this was the third time, I would hold, try and relax, let go. You can see this, that's it. So once I hold for 25 seconds, I would then bring the back off position. So that treatment was for the upper trapezius, the levator scapulae, and actually more for the left SEM rather than the right SEM. And then I would then repeat by going to the opposite side.